Okay, the zoning board of review is now in session. Um, so I'll have a roll call in terms of the members that are present. Mr. Wardika, present. Um, Ms. Horowitz, present. Mr. Raposa, present. Mr. Farrell, present. John Borden, vice chair, present. Um, okay. Um, We have minutes from June 17 and September 16. Is there a motion to approve the minutes? Make a motion to approve the minutes. Is there a second? Sure. Second. Uh, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Approved. <clears throat> um, the chairman's report. Uh, the chairman would like to report that, unfortunately, the um, last position on the zoning board has not been um, has not been filed, and there are no applicants. And my plan is to write a letter to the editor to ask the citizen support them to step up and try to volunteer for this board. If anyone in the audience is interested. Um, we would welcome any and all um, participants to apply for the position. Um, without the other alternate, it's sometimes very problematic to have a forum. And I would again encourage anyone that's interested to apply. Um, old business. Um, First item on the old business agenda is Christopher and Deborah Burnett uh, for a special use permit to construct a small solar energy system. Um, Joseph Wolf on behalf of Christopher Burnett. Okay. Can you state your name and address for the record? For the chair, for the jo Joseph Wolf, 294 Valley Road, Middletown, Rhode Island, on behalf of Christopher Burnett. Um, my client has, has asked that this matter be withdrawn, and I, on behalf of my client, I'm asking that his application be withdrawn without prejudice. Um, is there a motion to withdraw the petition without prejudice? I make a motion to withdraw. Uh, second. Second. Um, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Your motion is accepted. Withdraw without prejudice. Thank you. Thank you. Um, the next petition is by Mark E. Gallet, trustee, and Bradford C. and Marjorie C. Gray, appellants and decision of the enforcement building and zoning officer. We don't have a, we don't have a quorum um, for this item, so it's going to have to be continued. Okay, Mr. Chappelle, you stood up. Do you want to speak on this matter or no? No, I don't want to get out there. All right, so. Um, is a motion in order to continue this petition to November? Uh, is there a second? I second it. All those in favor? Aye. Petition is continued to our November meeting. Um, the third item under old business is court to help applicant. Um, seeking special use permit to change pre existing non conforming daycare to a banking office. Mr. Chappelle? Uh, that petition is being withdrawn. Withdrawn completely? Withdrawn. Like you can make it without prejudice or with prejudice. Without prejudice. People's credit union is no longer interested. All right. So, um, is there a motion to withdraw this petition without prejudice? We may, uh, we may want to continue it to the next meeting and then withdraw it. It was it's on the record from last month that we were going to continue it to November. I put it on the agenda mistakenly. So, um, I happen to be here. here so yeah. it, that's what we're doing next month as well. I don't know if anybody can check what we're well, well, I, I guess someone, I, if someone, uh, based on the last meeting, felt things that he 
what does that mean? <laughs> what I mean, you heard on this, I think it's prudent just to wait to draw up the next one. There was a motion made and approved to continue with the motion. Okay. Um, thank you, Mr. Solicitor. Motion to continue to November. Second. 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 All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Continue. Okay. Um, new business. Michael and Sandra Moriarty. Can you state your name and address for our recording secretary? Uh, Michael Moriarty, 64 Green Street. And do you swear to tell the truth? Yes. I do. Okay. Tell us what you'd like to do. Well, I, we have three items on the list, and two are. You could speak into the mic, sorry. Thank you. There are three items on the list um, two for retroactive determinants, things that happened in the past, and the current issue we were requesting to build a deck on the second floor on the front of our house, and it's nine and three quarters of an inch too close to the street. So you can speak up just a little bit. I'm sorry. We we are requesting a setback of nine and three quarters of an inch from the front street to the end of the second floor. The second issue. Go ahead. Okay, the second issue was the deck on the first floor. The original footprint of the deck when the house was built in 1970 um, should have had a variance, but it never did. So I don't know why. That deck deteriorated and it's part of the main maintenance. It took all the pressure treatment fluids and railings off. Um, the stairs on the front of that, on that deck, went across the front of the driveway and they didn't weren't very functional or aesthetically pleasing. So uh, I was replacing the decking. I pointed the stairs through the street and then someone told me that I can't get the set. So that's the second. Yeah. Um, members, um, any questions of the petitioner? Well, just one, sir. You said there were three petitions. Yes. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Yes, the third issue is we've had an above ground pool in the backyard since 1987. And when we applied for the upper deck variance, uh, I told the assistant here, but I'm Google Earth, and so it's Google there. Um, so he said he needed to get a variance for that. That's been it for 30 years. That's not. That's those are the three. Our members, any other questions? Okay, so it appears as though that uh, a lot of these conditions have existed since 2003, in fact, even previous to that. And um, it appears as though it's just an oversight of the property owner in regards to getting a variance. Um, are there any of butters or interested parties that would like to speak? Okay, I also have to ask you, because your lot is a substandard lot of record, um, we need to ask you additional questions. So, um, the adequate space provide for fire protection? Um, I'm not sure if you clarify that. It, well, in terms of, if we were to grant this variance, um, is there uh, adequate space for fire protection to access the rear yard in case of an emergency? Oh, yeah. Okay, thank you. Um, would it provide adequate light and air between the buildings? Um, would it alter the character of the neighborhood if it were approved or adversely affect the neighboring property? I believe so. Lot coverage and setbacks less than the average lot coverage and setbacks of adjacent properties. I'm on a corner lot, we're on a corner lot. Um, the house, there's a garage next door on a 30 by 80 lot, and it's a two car garage, but the cars are hand to hand. There's a 
great long and narrow garage. In terms of the existing conditions, it's been like this for how long? My 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 lot. Yes, yes. The pool's been there since '87. The yeah. front stairs so are 2013. It's, if this were approved, it's not going to alter the character of the neighborhood as it exists right now. That's correct. Okay, thank you. Um, we're going to impose a substantial detriment to the public or to immediate neighbors. No. All right. Thank you. Okay. Um, board members, are we ready to vote? Um, Mr. Farrell. Mr. Chairman, uh, uh, we have three dimensional variances to consider. Uh, so I could have let them handle them all at once. Yes. Um, I vote to approve all three dimensional variances. The applicant has satisfactorily considered the criteria A through E for a substantive auto vector dimensional variance. Two of the issues have been in place for years. And so, so we're not uh, altering the neighborhood in that regard. The third item is the upstairs deck, which doesn't extend further than the stairs. That's so, so the structure as a whole isn't getting closer to the street or has no detrimental impact to the neighborhood. Mr. Charles, excuse me. Yeah, special use permit. Yes. Special use permit. Substandard oh. lot of rent. Okay. So I also vote to approve the substandard with the special use permit for the substandard lot of record. Uh, Footprint of the structure isn't increasing uh, lot coverage while um, uh, greater than the 20% required um, is reasonable given that the lot is just under 5,000 square feet in size. And that's the key to the discussion. Tarlis. I. I support the variances as stated. Mr. Ricardo, approve all three dimensional variances as well as the special issues. Mr. Wadiga, I approve also the reasons for this. Uh, the chairman also approves, um, for reasons previously stated, the petitioner has uh, existing lot coverage of 26.34% and is only proposing to increase the lot coverage by 1.51%. Um, given the fact that the lot is only 4,937 square feet, the petitioner has a hardship of money to more than a mere inconvenience to try to comply with the setbacks and the lot coverage. Um, given the size of this law. So I vote to agree. Petition has been approved. Thank you. Um, next petition on the agenda is Lindsay. Uh, hopefully I won't screw this up. Caster Jeannie Littlefield. For dimensional variances for a front yard setback constructive storage shed outside the rear yard. Uh, is she here? She's in the I'm okay. on video, yes. Okay. Um, can you hear us? Yes, I can. Hold on okay. one moment. I'm going to get out of my truck. Right? Hi, <laughs> <laughs> sorry, we just started. Oh, well, that's just... okay. If this was staged, we're really impressed. <laughs> They're cute. <laughs> okay, sorry. <laughs> okay, I'm with you. Okay, so um, please 
uh, raise your right hand and swear, swear to tell the truth and state your name and address for the record. I swear to tell the truth. My name is Lindsay Castrogini Littlefield at 8 Hargraves Drive, Portsmouth, Rhode Island, 02871. Okay, tell us what you'd like to do. I would like to build a shed to right to the left of the garage. So it would essentially be my house, the garage, and then a shed abutting right up next to the garage. Okay. Um, I drove by the property today. It looks like it's partially constructed. Right. Um, I was, yeah, I was, um, I was under a misunderstanding that I was able to do this without a variance and uh, found out later that no, I needed a variant. So I stopped everything at that point and contacted the town and which led me here to do things the way I'm supposed to be, which I thought I was doing from the beginning, but I'm a few feet closer to the stone wall than I'm supposed to be, um, which is the one variance I'm asking for. And I'm also to the side of my garage, whereas apparently I was supposed to be in the back of the property, which I misunderstood as well. So that's the second variance I'm asking. Okay, um, board members, any questions? Um, so, um, I'm gonna ask for butters or interested parties first before I raise a couple other questions that I have. Are there any of butters or interested parties that wish to speak to this petition? Um, Mr. Ashola, my guess is that there is no one that wishes to speak to this petition. You know, if you're on Zoom, if you use the raise hand function or dial star, uh, star nine, uh, give a public comment. Yeah, it's also a good comment. Okay, so um, um, I would just raise the question that um, sheds should normally be in the rear yard. Um, it requires a dimensional variance to be in either the side yard or the front yard. Um, in this particular case, having driven by the property, it appears as though it's um, almost attached to the structure. Um, it's a three car garage existing, and it appears as though I'm sure it will be aesthetically pleasing. And um, even though it's classified as a quote unquote storage shed, you would be an attachment to the single family as well. Is that correct? It's not going to be fully attached. It is a butting right up next to it so that it appears aesthetically pleasing to the eye. I'm gonna use the same siding and trim styling that I used on the house so that it does not look like a rundown storage shed. I do want it to look very nice and cohesive with the house. So it is gonna be right up next to it, but it's not going to be, it's not going to be built to the house. It's gonna be built right next to it. Very, very close though. Okay, um, board members, any questions? No questions? I got a question. Yes, Mr. Uh, so that second only spot you can put based on the beach field, or can it go in the back, closer so, to the yard setback, aside from where it's more out of the out of view from uh, public? So the the trouble I'm having with putting it in the back of the yard are a couple issues. Um, one being that I would have to take down trees because there are trees on either side of my property line that don't allow me to just drive from the front to the back. And I do need to be able to access the shed um, with a truck. I'll explain why in a moment. Um, the second reason it is there is septic pipes going through the back of my yard that I don't want to drive over. 
um, the storage shed will be for, I mean, some for my children's um, bikes and things, but a lot for my husband's fishing equipment. He is a fisherman. That's what he does to support our family. So he leaves at 4 a.m. He comes home at 9 p.m. and loads and unloads fishing rods and all of his gear from his truck where he needs light. He needs to be able to drive his truck right up to it in the early morning and late night. And um, he can't drive through to the back of the yard from the front without going into the neighbor's property and driving over their yard to get to the back. Any other questions, Martin? Sure, we can ask all the questions. You good? Yeah, I guess. Okay. All right. Are we, do you have anything else to add to this petition before we vote? Um, I just want to add that I'm not, I'm, asking for a couple feet next to the stone wall that abuts East Main Road. It's not interfering on anybody else's property to that side of me, whereas they would, you know, feel like they were too close to my house at that point. Um, and it's not going to look aesthetically poor for the neighborhood. It'll fit right into the house. Um, and there's really no other property place on my property that I could put this. And it is very much needed for my husband's all right. Um, Mr. Scholl, just to clarify, um, the variance that's being requested um, is for the shed to be outside the rear yard, and there are no other side yard setback relief. It's a front yard setback relief. Right. It's on East Main Road, so that is what I'm told. That's kind of counted as a Run step back because it's on a main road that from that side, which is 19 uh, and a half. I think your address is Hargraves Drive. So yes. that, deter that determines your front yard. Okay. So that's like 50 and a half feet. I'm not, I'm well, plenty. It's a, it's a corner lot, so okay. it has two fronts. Okay. Good, good point. Well, let's let the assistant planner speak on this. So it's I don't see a uh, dimensional variance request sheet in the petition. It, it should be there. It's not. Um, so they're, she's requesting a 10 and a half foot variance. Okay. So board members, it's a 10, point, 10 and a half foot variance for front yard. It's it's technically the front yard, but it's actually the side yard. It goes up to a stone wall, which is then about. Yes. It, we we understand. And, okay. Uh, thank you. I drove by the property today. Um, Got it. Um, okay. So the petitioner, the only relief the petitioner is seeking is one to have a storage shed in the side yard, and two, a front yard variance of 10.5 feet. Is that correct? Okay. Um, board members, are we ready to vote? Um, just to make sure I understand. The, um, this drawing shows 19. Yes, I think, I think the relief is to the front yard. The, from the, from Hargraves, the shed will be set back about 50 and a half feet. All from the, the from feet. the stone wall by East Main Road, it'll be set back 19 and a half feet. And that's not yeah. from East Main, that's from the stone wall. No, you, you meet that requirement. There is no relief necessary for the side yard setback. The question is, yard, so. I'm sorry? It's not a side yard. But because it abuts East Main, it's yeah. referred to yeah. as a front yard. Oh, that's a really good point. Thank you for pointing that out. But All right. What the is. So actually 19, so 30 minus 19. 
is 11. So you need an 11 foot variance to East Main Road. And you also need a 10.5 foot variance to Hargraves Drive. No, 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 I don't need a variance to Hargraves Drive. I just need the 19. Sure, no. no, the other variance is that the shed's not in the rear yard. Okay, all right, so we're good. All right, so there's two uh, release requests. Uh, a variance um, for setbacks and whether or not the shed is allowed in the side yard. Correct. Okay, are we ready? We're ready. Thank you. Thank you, board, for your support. <laughs> Mr. Farrell. Mm -hmm. Mr. Chairman, I will address the two variance requests separately, <clears throat> but I do approve of both. Uh, uh, for the case of the front yard setback, um, uh, the shed is sized such that if it wasn't where it was placed, it would be okay as a matter of right. So, so the only issue is where it's being um, uh, placed. Uh, as the applicant has pointed out, um, uh, the side yards uh, from the side of the house to East Main Road covers a distance from the, from the home to the, to the stone wall. And then there's another 15 or 20 feet out to East Main Road. So, so placing this shed in this location has no detrimental effect to any of Butters because there's no one out there. And from East Main Road, it's difficult, if not impossible, to see the shed because of the tree line. So, so, so I consider this to be an easy yes. Uh, um, um, the shed can go where it is. Without encroaching, on, without encroaching from a practical perspective on anybody else. In terms of placing the shed in the side yard or in the front yard in this case, instead of the rear yard, I also approve that variance um, for the reasons stated by Ms. I'm sorry, I'm going to cast Ginny dash. Castor Ginny Littlefield, yeah. Ginny Littlefield, um, who has testified that. That mature trees in the backyard and the leach field inhibit the ability to place a shed there that would be accessible to the husband in order to store equipment that he can't safely store in his vehicle. So, for those reasons, I approve both dimensional variances. Ms. I approve both variances for reasons previously stated. Mr. Raposo. Um, to approve the dimensional variance, this main road would deny the shed is a dimensional variance. Correct. I don't think it's the least relief necessary. I think there's plenty of room to drive around the property and get to the back. And there is also a front of garage, so I don't think it's the least relief. There could be other ways to go about it, but I understand that if you have two front yards, maybe that would be fine. Mr. Wadiga. I vote to approve both for the three reasons you just said. The chair is, has mixed feelings about this. Mr. Raposa brings up some very valid points with the three car garage, um, whether or not you need to build the storage at the side. Um, I can understand that um, being thought of. Me, you, can't, you can't speak while I'm voting. I apologize. All right, that's fine. Um, the uh, petition has a lot coverage of 10%, and that's probably why I'm reluctantly going to vote to approve because I think you have the right to use your property. And if this petition were for a storage shed in the front yard, I would absolutely deny. But because it appears as though it's going to be attached, even though it won't be, to the primary structure, um, I feel as though to deny would amount you the right to fully utilize all your property at 10% lot coverage. Mr. Raposa 
Rick, uh, brings out some very good points, but I vote to approve, and your petition has been approved. Thank you. I appreciate it very much. Um, next item on the agenda. Frederick Cornell. Mr. Cornell is seeking dimensional variances for a primary setback and lot coverage. Construct a second storage shed outside the rear yard on a non conforming lot of record um, on Prudence Island. Um, state your name and address for the record. Uh, Frederick Cornell, uh, 0224 Avenue Prudence Island, and I'm a full time resident. And please raise your right hand and swear to tell the truth. I swear to tell the truth. Thank you. Tell us what you'd like to do. I'd like to put a shed in the uh, front yard of my property. Um, according to what I have for the rest of the property, um, I see no other place that I can put it. Um, I don't have room in the back of the house. I don't have room on either side of the house. Um, presently, I rent a garage to store equipment in, lawn motors, generators, so forth, so forth, and so on. And that lease is ending the end of the year. I will have no place to store anything. Um, I don't have a basement. I don't have a cellar. I don't have a garage. I really have no other place to put anything. I also am a woodworker, and part of this uh, shed would be my woodworking area where I could go out and uh, do my woodworking. So, um, my first question is why can't you put? Your additional shed in the backyard next to your existing shed. Oh, I don't believe there's room there between that shed and the house. Well, when I look at the site plan, um, I guess um, the board very rarely sees sheds in the front yard. And Side yard, we just granted a side yard variance, but front yard is a little problematic. I understand so, that. So, my thought is is there a way to figure out how to put the shed in the rear yard next to your existing shed or in the side yard? Um, there's, there's no room in the side yard. The side yard is where the septic system and yep, the yep, is. I'm looking. Yeah, go ahead. In the other, in the other side, there isn't any room on the west side of the house to put anything else there. So, I, I guess my other question would be: Can you add on to your existing shed in the rear yard? Um, um I don't know. I had, I had thought of doing that, um, just because of the landscaping, and uh, I, in order to get there, I'd have to go very, very close to. Each field, if I was taking my lawnmower out or anything like that, you know, each field is right almost beside the house there. It's a very, 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 very narrow area. Board members, any questions? <coughs> yes, Mr. Farrell. Um, um, Mr. Cordell, yes. uh, uh, you also intend on, on housing a golf cart? In no, the no. Did I put that in there? Yeah, that was in the. Oh, well, uh, no, I don't. Oh, okay. No, I don't. No, I don't. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I have a question. Mr. Mr. Imposa, how many houses on Furutata are you generally? Do many have two sheds? Well, I, I couldn't tell you. I, mean, I know some do. I certainly sure yeah. do. Yeah. Just curious if it's like a. Um, I mean, it's, I would say yes, some, but how many? I wouldn't have any idea. I guess you go with the various sheds, configuration of the lot. Was the house up against the water? And it just. <laughs> right. I mean, there's a, there's a shed on Polar yeah. Avenue now, but as you say, it's only because their property faces Marianne's Avenue. So the shed, therefore, is on the sidewalk, but it's on Polar Avenue. 
So, how was it? Was this a, a, a pre made shed? Oh, we, we, I haven't ordered it, I haven't done anything. Yeah, it will be pre made. I, yeah, so it'll be delivered to the end. So, what's the finish of it going to be? Uh, we're going to finish it to look like the house. The house is shingled and backwards, and we'll have it the outside will just be basically wooden, and we'll finish it to match the house. And you say there's no garage? No. So it's almost like a mini garage. That's the way to look at it, I think. Well, yeah, well, except there'll be no, there'll be no motorized vehicles, right? Yeah, no, no, I mean, I'm just saying, and, yeah. our concern is how it looks yes, to yeah, have something that. in the front. Doesn't have a garage and doesn't have a basement. Correct. And uh, rooms. Um, it looks like you're rather small. It's a small cottage. Yes, five. I would say five rooms. Bathroom, kitchen, bedroom, living room. Uh, Can we put a condition on that that finishes to match the house? Well, I I think that um, we can certainly do that. And then the question would be whether the petition is approved or denied. The condition would still be in place regardless of the decision. So I think we need to hear from the butters and get to the point where we make a decision and the condition either way will be in place. Uh, uh, is there anything else you'd like to add? Um, no, I think that, that covers it pretty much. All right. So I'm going to ask for butters or interested parties to speak on this petition. Uh, Mr. Shoa, uh, there are no butters. Um, board members, any other questions before um, we go to a vote? No? Uh, is there anyone that would like to propose any conditions to this petition? I would propose. Ms. Horowitz. I would propose that the, the finishes on the shed match the house. Um, so it's not like a metal shed, it's a shingle with wood trim. Is there a second to that condition? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Condition has been approved, and now we're ready to vote. Yes, actually, very good. Um, because your lot is 7,500 square feet in an R20 zone, I need to ask you um, whether you meet the substandard lot of record criterion under the, the zoning ordinance. Bear with me for one second. Criterion. This petition were approved, would it allow for adequate space for fire protection? Yes. And would it provide adequate light and air between the buildings? Yes. Would it alter the character of the neighborhood or adversely affect the neighboring properties? No. Would it create lot coverage and setbacks less than the average Lot coverage and setbacks of adjacent properties. No. Uh, would it impose a substantial detriment to the public or to immediate neighbors? No. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Farrell. Support ready to vote? Yes. Mr. Farrell. Mr. Chairman, I 
we have a special use permit for substandard model record and a dimensional variance. That's correct. That there are three dimensional variances. I'm sorry? There are three dimensional variances. One of them being a front yard setback, the whole world cabin. Yeah. One being more than one shed, and the other one being that is in the front yard. Thank you, Mr. Shola. Dimensional variances first. I, I understand Mr. Cornell's rationale for requiring additional shed space given that he has a small home, no basement, no garage, and a 10 by 12 shed perimeter. Given the shape of his yard uh, and the testimony you've heard. Was unable to place the shed in the side or rear of the house. The rear of the house because there's very little space behind the house. The side because there is a beach field. So that means the front yard is the only place to put the shed. So, so the original variance for the front yard shed location is approved because there's no logistics. Variance for the second shed. Um, I also approve in the back of storage space and small size plus the, the 7,500 foot square foot lot size still gives us right around 20, 21 by around 21% lot average, which is on a Thank you. Special use permit and the special use permit. Um, Mr. Cornell has addressed the categories and perhaps uh, for other homes that will be as close to the whole book as yours is. So, changes. Thank you. This year, folks. Um, special use permit for the shed not being in the rear yard. Sorry, approve the special use permit for the shed not being in the rear yard, but we can get a little closer to the within the variance to deny the potential variance. Thank you. Um, I approve both, both the special use permit and the variances for the so I did. Uh, I also approve uh, the chair has a problem with putting a shed in the front yard um, for several reasons. One of which is set setting a precedent, and two, I think that um, something else could be done to provide additional storage. I sympathize with the petitioner that he has no basement and. Um, and that's problematic for storage, but to put a shed in the front yard is a little problematic in my opinion. So I approve the special use permit, but I deny the variance for the front yard. Um, uh, so your petition has been denied. Um, you can uh, Resubmit your petition or alter the petition uh, to the building inspector. Mr. Kirsten, Eric, Eric. Eric's authority to deny the dimensional variance. Is that correct? Right. So I voted to deny, deny the dimensional variances well, as well. I thought you just broke out. No, I, I voted to approve the special use permit 
but I denied the variances specifically two two sheds and a shed in the front yard. So um, Thank you. Thank you. Um, next petition on the agenda is Michael and Margaret Ferreira seeking dimensional variance to construct a single family dwelling. I'm not, not fronting the public way. Right. Mr. Chappell, I have to say, if you take more than five minutes of my time, <laughs> you will be. I'm authorized to enter this facility ever again. I'm going to take less than that. I was here and uh, my friend's here, so I am This is as simple as the business you get. He has a lot. It requires no variance except for the simple dimensional variance that just in front of the Article 3, Section D2, I believe it is, on the public way. So this is the variance that we grant pretty much all the time improvements in other areas where you have a lot that has legally existing lot that has valid access. On a paper street, but that street is not yet. The only question I have is whether or not the petitioner would be willing to get a letter from the fire department that the fire department can access that road in case of the emergency for fire protection. I have gone to the fire department and actually I have to change it because when I first did it, it's zero maple, and now he has given me 38. Maple Avenue address. So okay. we have to change the address. And he also went through the smoke detectors and sent me a bunch of things. Is that Mark Reynolds? Yes, yes. That was the first place I went to. Not knowing too much about what to do. I went to Mark first, and then I went to the door. Right. So the bottom line is they have access to yes. and I think that access exactly. maple because the access comes across a paper street in North Correct. House deep. The fire department may ask for that driveway to be. Not eight feet wide, but ten feet wide. Right, and actually, it'll be fifteen feet wide. I will comply right. and so, make sure that the fire department signs off on the width of the driveway and the quality. Of the so, should you make that a condition? I think you've done it already, but if you make that a condition, we have no objection. All right, okay. I think precedent-wise, there's conditions on it. Okay, uh, board members, any questions? Uh, abutters or interested parties? Okay. Um, is there anyone that wants to propose a condition? Mr. Chairman, may I uh, propose a condition that the driveway is I, I think the petitioner mentioned 15 feet. I think it should be rather than the actual width, it should be as required by the fire department. Driveway leading to the home as wide as is required by the fire department to allow it. Is there a second? Second. second? second. All those in favor of the condition? Aye. 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 Okay. Um, I think we're ready to vote. Um, Mr. Wadiza. I vote to approve for the statement. Thank you. Um, Ms. Horowitz. I vote to approve this application. Thank you. Is there a poster? Do I want to say I vote to approve? <laughs> 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 Read the script. Mr. Mr. Farah, I vote to approve for the reasons stated by Mr. Booth. All right. Uh, I chairman also votes to approve. This is kind of a no-brainer. I mean, this is uh, uh, dimensional variance for a lot not fronting a public way. And my hope is after the comprehensive plan is approved and the zoning ordinance is amended, that some of these petitions go away. Uh, because I, I think that to deny the petitioner the right to build on his land is clearly uh, more than a mere inconvenience, it's certainly a hardship. Chairman votes to approve your petitions. Thank you. Less than five minutes. Before you write your letter, I sent a text out based on your comment that you may have a couple of applicants in the morning for your position. One may be related to a Mr. Raposa. Oh. 
get some brothers up there. <laughs> so should I write my letter or I bring your letter because it won't hurt to have more. Yeah, it won't hurt to have more. Yeah. But people know. are out to people and they didn't know it was just okay. Okay, you told them it was paid, right? What's that? Paid. <laughs> It's, it's, it's a full of all where you could buy them. Yeah. yeah. Not a call. <laughs> okay. Is there a motion to adjourn? Second. Take a motion. All right. Is there a second to the motion? Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Aye.